back with another video guys yes i apologize for not uploading for the past week but i am back anyways we're going to be doing a top five mcpe shaders for minecraft pocket edition of course for the brand new update 1.14 port 20 guys i'm so excited to show you guys uh, these shaders because uh as you all know there's actually a new update and many of you guys have been requesting for some shaders that work on low-end devices now guys there's actually shaders on the list that will work for low-end devices and high-end devices so these shaders are for everyone guys. If you want to download any of these shaders, just go uh, in the description down below and there will be the media fire links guys. Trust me, all of these are media fire links. You don't have to go through some shady website to get any of these shaders. Anyways, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter for more updates on my life, terminated channel, uh, future videos, and overall just have a way to contact me. Anyways guys, let's head on to the number five spot. Thanks. On the number 5 spot, we are starting off strong with the ESBE underscore 2G V4.2. Yes, guys, uh, this is uh, the uh, shaders right over here. That's how it looks like. It takes up less than a megabyte, so it should not take you that much storage. Now, guys, uh, just a p piece of advice from me. If you guys actually want to lower uh, lag, as you can tell, make sure to turn down your render distance to lower the lag. I have it at 18 chunks. Uh, I'm just going to turn it to 8 chunks. But yeah, as you can tell, guys, this shader is absolutely amazing. I mean, just look at the shadows and the lights. The lights just have so much more brightness and saturation, which is super dope. And of course, the water is right over here, and the water looks super realistic. You can even see like the sun reflecting upon the uh, on the water, so that is a really cool. And even when you go down, you can still see some of like the cool lights. Look at that, guys! Oh my God, I'm not even making this up. These shaders are just so dope. This shader definitely, you know, is super beautiful. I mean, just look at it, guys. It is just absolutely. Beautiful. You can see the sun setting right over here. And overall, these shaders are really, really dope, guys. They will enhance your Minecraft world by a lot, guys. It's gonna place down some lights, but as you can tell, guys, the lighting is super smooth. As you can tell, it is like kind of bright in the center, and then it slowly just fades away into the darkness in a really smooth pattern. Uh, let me just turn it to nighttime so you guys can see it a little bit better. But there you go, guys. The lights are just super amazing. And overall, I really do love these shaders. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. For for the number five spot let's head on to the number four spot on the number four spot we have the jspe shaders uh it is made by js play so that is a really dope and uh these shaders only take up about three megabytes so you do not have to worry about a storage whatsoever and uh yeah this is how everything looks like as you can tell incredibly bright lights like they're just super bright and if you go close enough to the leaves they actually move which is pretty dope in my opinion uh sort of like all the shaders and the grass is incredibly like uh it's kind of dark compared to everything but the leaves are incredibly bright and of course the realistic sky guys look at the sky it just looks super realistic and i absolutely love that about the shaders and like when you go close to it they have like that little rainbow glare on it which is pretty dope in my opinion uh not many shaders actually include that but this one actually does but yeah anyways guys if you go close enough to the water guys the water just looks so beautiful especially when you're inside there's like this blue tint that just makes everything so much more better and realistic and when you move around like close to the edge of like a wall everything gets kind of like distorted and shaky so that is really cool definitely way more uh realistic than most shaders anyways guys i'm just gonna show you how this looks like uh, during uh nighttime I'm just gonna put it at nighttime and as you can tell guys that is how the moon looks like even the moon is super realistic so that's how you know these shaders are legit anyways guys if we place down a torch right over here as you can tell it brights the whole place up guys it is super smooth and of course the shadows on the blocks are super uh realistic and you know just super cool and detailed of course uh now i'm just going to show you guys how things look like during the sunset so this is how the sunset looks like guys it looks super amazing when you just look at that although uh there is some clouds blocking the sun but you can still get the point it is still a very beautiful shader with a beautiful water a beautiful sky and just beautiful everything 
so that is really really dope anyways guys that is pretty much it for the number four spot let's head on to the number three spot on the number three spot we have the rtx v1.2 uh beta guys uh like the last pack this only takes up about three uh megabytes of storage so it really won't take you that much storage but voila guys this is how everything looks like everything looks so detailed especially the water the water has like this really beautiful shine to it and you know it just makes it look super realistic and just like the other shaders if you just move around the edge of it everything kind of just becomes like distorted guys kind of like how uh you know in real life this is kind of how things would look like so that is a really dope and literally this is so cool just watching it it just makes everything look so much more realistic and uh just like all the other shaders uh, there's incredibly bright lights to it and incredibly dark shadows. So uh, that is pretty dope in my opinion. Anyways, guys, I feel like uh, you guys should see this shader during the sunset. So we're just going to set it to the sunset. And uh, there you go, guys. There is the beautiful sun right over there. That is a really dope, guys. It just looks super realistic. And, of course, the clouds and sky is super realistic, too. And I absolutely love that about uh, the shaders. Now, uh... During nighttime, this is how it looks like. That's how the moon looks like, guys. Even the moon is realistic, so that is pretty dope in my opinion. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how the lighting is. Now, this shader is a bit laggy for me, so... Um yeah, just be careful when you're using the shaders because it might be a bit laggy. So we're just going to place it down and voila, guys, that is how it looks like. It is pretty dope. Uh, this is like the center of the actual torch and then slowly just fades away into the darkness, which is pretty cool. And even during the nighttime, the sky is still beautiful with some stars popping out. So that is really, really good. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the number three spot. Let's head on to the number two spot on the number two spot we have the fabric light pe shaders guys now this shaders actually does take up uh quite a bit of storage so uh yeah it takes up about six megabytes uh it's still really not that much but uh yeah so this is how everything looks like guys as you can tell the shadows are just super amazing i mean just look at that we are like in near this like cave thingy so that is pretty dope and of course just like all the shaders um the lights are incredibly bright and saturated, especially the sand. The sand almost looks white, so um, that's pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, so this definitely will make your Minecraft worlds look better. And this is kind of like how the grassy area looks like. It kind of looks the same thing as in the vanilla Minecraft. And if you go close to the leaves, of course, the leaves move. But probably the coolest thing about the shader is if you go close to the water, guys, the water actually moves, guys, literally it moves like in like real water so that is really really cool in my opinion it really does add a lot more to the shaders i mean just look at that there you go you can see like the water moving up and down so that is really cool uh this definitely won't lag you as much as some of the other shaders so that's why i really like it it's pretty dope in my opinion now i'm just going to show you guys how it looks like uh during the sunset so uh this is how it looks like uh during the sunset the sun is right over there guys of course we have the beautiful clouds you know the just super beautiful of course with the beautiful sun everything about the shaders is just so amazing i absolutely love it and uh we're just gonna turn it to nighttime so uh here we are in nighttime and i think behind us is uh, the moon yes guys that's how the moon looks like the moon looks kind of smaller than uh some of the other shaders in this list but i mean the moon still looks pretty good in my opinion and uh let's actually go back to our torch uh right over here as you can tell the lighting is kind of different for this shader it's super bright and then like almost immediately goes into darkness it's not as smooth as some of the other ones but i mean it's still pretty cool and it for sure it is way more brighter than the other shaders so that is pretty cool literally uh right over there those are some lights from uh the ocean and you can see it from all the way uh in the surface so that's how you know that the lights are incredibly bright and yo this ruin has a sea lantern i did not know that uh they actually had sea lanterns so that is pretty cool so yeah guys uh these shaders definitely will make your minecraft montages or just your survival experience way more better and that's why i really like these shaders anyways guys that is pretty much it for the number two spot let's head on to the number one spot
On the number one spot, guys, we have the Sky In Yard Shaders a Beta, guys. Now, this only takes up about 8 megabytes worth of storage, so uh, it really does not take up that much storage. But here we are, guys. Now, this shaders is really different from the rest of the ones because the, the lights just aren't as bright as some of the other ones. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're still bright, but just not as uh, bright or saturated as uh, the other shaders. So that is pretty cool, in my opinion. But as you can tell, you can still see, like, the beautiful uh, shadows, as you can tell the very detailed shadows and of course if you go close enough to the grass the grass actually moves so that is pretty dope guys and the sky is super realistic i mean just look at this uh it literally looks like what you would see outside in a beautiful day so that is pretty cool and if we actually go close to the water guys you could tell that the water actually moves so that is really cool as you can tell guys it legitimately moves and it has like this wavy texture to it it is just super awesome this wavy animation so that's what i really like about the shaders possibly like my favorite part about the shaders for sure has to be uh, the water i mean just look at the water the water just looks so awesome it's really epic guys and without further ado i'm just gonna show you guys how the shader looks like during uh nighttime so here we are in uh, nighttime, and that is the moon rising up all the way over there. So that is pretty cool. You can tell that, you know, the person behind this uh, shaders really did put a lot of effort into it. They put stars uh, in the sky when it goes to nighttime. So that is pretty dope in my opinion. And let's just place down a torch, uh, see how the lighting is. So uh, yeah, guys, definitely not as uh, bright or strong as some of the other shaders, but it still will get the job done. And these shaders are just super good and they don't lag as much as some of the other shaders. So that's why I really like it because they're not as laggy as some of the other shaders. And if you guys are actually still experiencing lag, guys, then make sure to turn down your render distance because that usually fixes uh, the problem. Anyways, guys, we're just going to turn it back to day, and that is pretty much it for the number one spot, guys. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video did help you in any way, shape, or form, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter for more updates on my life, terminated channel, future videos, and overall, just have a way to contact me, guys. Anyways, my Minecraft team, Harry Nigger Herrix Clan, officially made its YouTube a channel. So, uh, the link to that will be in the description of all my videos from now on. So, if you actually want to go see me and the boys do some fun stuff, play horror maps, do all that great stuff, then you can watch it on the Herrix Clan YouTube channel. I also want to say thank you for 1,000 subscribers, guys. That literally means the absolute world to me how we got 1,000 subscribers. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See you later, French fries. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. Some days I feel skinnier than all the other days. Sometimes I can't tell if